There was some news that Google recently purchased a company called Neverware and they make a product called Cloud Ready. Basically what Cloud Ready is, it is an open source version of or variant of Chrome OS. And basically they allow you, especially home users for free to create an install package basically on a USB drive, eight gigabytes and up. And you're able to install Chrome OS onto your very old and slow Windows computer and even Macs. Um, that are too old to run the latest version so that you have a smooth and faster experience. So in this video, let's, let's talk about that in comparison to uh, Windows 10 X's alternative. So the company Neverware, uh, yeah, they developed an alternative to Chrome OS. It is basically just Chromium OS. And uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's just an alternative and you can run it you can run their Chrome OS variant on any pretty much computer you can think of, even this one here. Um, people have gotten it to work on Macs, people have gotten it to work on uh, a whole bunch of OSs or a whole bunch of computers that are very old. Um, on their website, they do have a list here in front of me of all of the certified models that are ready or essentially cloud ready for their software. And so if you have any of those models, that will have the most compatibility for what you can do with their OS, their build of Chromium. But now it's different too because Google has purchased them. Now, the difference with Google purchasing Neverware is that Google now can make Neverware software Google certified. Therefore, currently, if it's just an open source Chromium uh, variant, you don't get the Google Play Store or Google Play services, and that's just how it works with Android and anything Google-based. You can use it for free, but if you want the extra functionality, you gotta pay, the company has to pay in order to get the Google Play services, a licensing fee, which this company doesn't need to do because it's just the open source variant. Now with Google owning them, most likely you'll probably be getting um, the Google Play Store and it'll essentially be an alternative to just not needing to get a Chromebook, but you can just install Chrome OS on anything you want. So that's a really dope thing. Now, the minimum requirements on their website say you need about two gigs of RAM minimum, and then your storage, you don't really need that much storage for Chrome OS. We've seen Chromebooks that have like 64 and even 32 gigs of storage. Now, what I wanted to talk about with this in comparison is the last video I did, I talked about Windows 10X. Now, Windows 10X apparently hit its final build for manufacturers to start putting it into their computers that they're creating. And we might see those computers at CES, those devices at CES. But with this company here, Neverware, uh, having the same thing, like having a light OS to put on computers, similar to how Windows 10X is a light version of, it's like a low spec light version of Windows 10 because Windows 10 runs pretty sluggishly if you have the bare minimum requirements, but Windows 10X supposedly can run on Chromebook style devices that don't have too many specs. We call it like netbooks. So imagine that you have a netbook and you're like, man, I really want to put something on this. Windows 10 is too slow for it. Windows 7, 8 is too slow for it. I want to put an OS on there. Imagine being able to put Chrome OS or even Windows 10X. And I, I think this is where the future really hits because we have a lot of cloud things. Now, obviously with these two OSs, um, Chrome OS, if you don't go open source, they have the Play Store variant for an app store, whereas Windows 10X has the Microsoft Store. Um, basically, you don't have too many apps that a lot of people will want, but you have a lot of the ones that most people will want in the Microsoft Store, whereas the Google Play Store has everything because it's the Google Play Store. So you can imagine, the Chrome OS requires two gigs um, and about 32 or 64 gigs of storage minimum. I think it's 32 gigs of storage minimum. Windows 10, the base, because we don't have the requirements for Windows 10X yet, but I'm basing it off of the Windows 10 requirements, the minimum, the bare minimum. Windows 10 only requires two gigs of RAM and up, uh, 800 by 600 display, resolution display, which most likely will get like 1080p displays no matter what. Um, and then Windows 10 also only requires 32 gigs of storage, which doesn't make any sense because I've seen computers with that low storage running Windows 10 and uh, those aren't pretty. They, they work very slowly. Um, just 
imagine the Surface Go and Surface Go 2 that don't have too much storage if you pick the lowest one. I haven't heard good things about those low tiers of them. But so Windows 10X could change the game in comparison to Neverware's Cloud Ready uh, application basically allows you to, or Cloud Ready OS, which is an open source Chromium OS, which is about to go uh, just closed source, I guess, open and closed source. I'm not even sure exactly what the outcome of the Google purchase will be, but it's just, it was an interesting thing that I wanted to talk about today because Windows 10X is Microsoft's variant of a very cloud-based uh low tier OS, low spec OS that you can pretty much just get things done and things just work flawlessly, or at least they should be. Um, it's supposed to be that. And Google has Chrome OS, which does the exact same thing. They both have their app stores, which Google is winning on that front, definitely. Um, and then you have the two juggernauts, Microsoft and Google, you know, who, who will win that low tier OS war? What will be the prices and things like that? What type of devices? Because Chrome OS requires, Chrome OS has touchscreen support, even though you don't need a touchscreen. There are devices out there with no touchscreen that run Chrome OS. Windows 10 X also supports touchscreens and you don't need a touchscreen to use it. So they have like the same specs. They're both low tier OSs, like low spec OSs. I guess it's just a matter of preference for whoever wants what if they're familiar with Windows. They might want Windows 10 X. If they just want something simple, they'll probably go with the Chromebook. But I think we'll have to see in, in the meantime. Um, but CES is coming around the corner. It is in January. It is a virtual event. Getting ready to register for that. So you'll see a lot of news in January coming for CES and for the maybe Surface Neo. We might hear something from that maybe during build. Who knows? But stay tuned for that. And yeah, happy Thursday, everybody. Enjoy. Doubts and doubts in my mind.